Hello, I'm Ed Marsh. Thanks for joining me for this episode of my bi-weekly video blog, Signals from the OP. If you hear something that's original and thought-provoking, I'd urge you to share it with any industrial execs you know who might also appreciate it. Let's talk about partnership marketing and the new buzz term that's being used for it, nearbound. Joe Rowley, the sales phenom who put Marketo on the map, offers an interesting distillation of nearbound. She puts it this way, outbound marketing equals interrupting people. Inbound marketing equals attracting people. Nearbound marketing equals surrounding people. Nearbound marketing is a fancy term for partnership marketing, but one that takes into account the challenges of marketing and selling today. I won't run through the full litany of things you already know well about how markets are changing. Suffice it to say, it's harder to get to the table for meetings with buyers. It's harder to move a full buying team to a decision. Buyers work in the shadows. All of that and more. So yes, you have content marketing to attract prospects as part of your overall manufacturing marketing program. You've got activity expectations for your sales team for outbound prospecting and perhaps some outbound marketing like LinkedIn ads. And still, it's hard. It's hard because everyone's too busy for anything beyond the crises. So how do you consistently grow? How do you get in front of people with creative ideas and for conversations about things they don't necessarily need and definitely don't want to spend time or probably money working on? What types of lead generation are effective in generating legitimate leads with a high likelihood of turning into sales opportunities? That's the huge question facing companies today and that's the foundational concept of partnership marketing. The premise of partner marketing is that your prospects are already working with other vendors. They have commercial relationships. They have established trust. Partner marketing and sales co-ops those established relationships to help you reach prospects, cutting through the noise, and arriving as a business resource bearing the imprimatur of value provided by your association with other vendors they already trust. In other words, you'll get a couple seconds to establish your value as opposed to being completely ignored. That's important. It gives your marketing and sales the opportunity to do what they do well and what they get opportunities to do less frequently than ever. Partner marketing works because it's an acknowledgement of the fact that everyone's too busy, has too many priorities and not enough resources. So when one of a company's trusted vendors says, hey, I know you're busy, but I think you might find some value in the, the XYZ that ABC company does. They've helped others of my clients to whatever the value proposition is. People will listen. You've probably bought through partner marketing. Microsoft and Google sell the majority of their office and G Suite respectively through partners. You probably handle medical referrals from your PCP differently than if you start searching for a physician on scratch, from scratch on your own. And your financial advisor may ask you to establish a brokerage account at their preferred broker to facilitate your work. As partner marketing matures, it extends well beyond logos on a website and some simple mentions. Often partner companies will create shared collateral. Sales and success teams will be trained in how to identify opportunities and make warm introductions. They may create content and events together, like webinars, case studies, and open houses, for instance. And often there's a sharing of insights by sales teams who have an inside track on what's happening. That's what Jill Rowley means by surrounding people. With warm, referral-type introductions, your sales team will have access. And as they have access, prospects will engage with your marketing materials. And as your prospects are weighing their decision, worried about making a mistake as the jolt effect explores, your partner sales team will be there to reassure them. It all makes sense, particularly as other types of lead generation become less effective. But it's hard for industrial companies to visualize how it works for them. First, that's not the way they're accustomed to selling. Second, they tend to look very narrowly at their products and therefore have a tough time identifying possible partners. So look beyond your products. Think about parallel products, those up and downstream. Think about how Rockwell and Allen Bradley are a partnership marketing example of sorts that you're familiar with. Think about other OEMs, companies that provide related services, maybe compressed air, safety equipment, factory talent recruiting, retention benefits programs, improved LED lighting, material handling, and of course, digitization tools like AR and machine monitoring. Partner marketing increases your reach. It's potentially awkward to start, but it's a proven method. Give it a shot and see what nearbound leads might do for your company. I'm Ed Marsh. If you found value in this episode of Signals from the OP, check out the full playlist and maybe even like it, share it, and subscribe.
either to my YouTube channel at marshspeaks.tv or at the related blog signals from the op.com.